Hi, I'm Maz, the strategy lead of Team 3061 Husky Robotics. In this video, I'll explain how to set up a Glitch server to run our scouting software, Spot. Once you create an account on Glitch, click on New Project and then Import from GitHub. Here it's going to ask for the URL of your repository. The URL for Spot is github.com slash husky robotics slash spot dot git. Now Glitch is going to import the project from GitHub. And it's going to take a couple minutes to load. So once the project loads, you'll be taken to this screen. In the top right corner, you can click share. You'll see a URL for a live site. You can click this link button here to copy the link. If you open it in a new tab, you'll see spot launch up. Now we're going to set up our MongoDB database with MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas is a database hosting solution that has a free tier, which meets the needs of most teams. Click Try Free in the top right corner, and then sign in or sign up. Once you finish signing in or creating your account, click on Build a Database in the center. You'll see these three tiers of databases. The rightmost free shared one should suit the needs of most teams. Click Create and then leave all these settings the same. Click Create Cluster on the bottom. Now MongoDB is going to ask you for an authentication method for your database. Click on Username and Password. Give your account a name, such as Admin, and then auto-generate a secure password. Make sure to copy this password for later use and write it down somewhere. Next, go to the IP access list and enter in 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which allows access from any IP address. Finally, click finish and close. Now when you go back to your main screen, you'll see this cluster zero pop up. MongoDB may also be taking some time to finish setting up your cluster. In that case, you can return in a couple minutes. Once your database finishes loading, click on Connect, and then click on Connect Your Application. Make sure the driver is set to Node.js, and the version is set to 4.0 or later. Copy this link and paste it inside your Spot Setup page. Then, replace this password with the password you wrote down earlier. Your URL should look something like this. The next step is setting up your Blue Alliance API key. Visit the Blue Alliance website and select more in the top middle of your screen. Then visit your account. Under your account, you may have to log in but afterwards you should scroll down to read API keys. In the description box, write a label for your key. Click Add New Key to add it to your list of read API keys. Copy this API key and paste it in the section called TBA API Key in Spot. Then to find your event key, go back to the blue lines and search for your event. For example, I'll be using 2022 Midwest. The event key is given by the part after the event slash in the URL. For example, here, the event key is 2022 ILCH. Copy this and paste it in the TBA event key section. The final part of setting up spot is the event number. You should change the event number by one each time you have an event. For example, your first event should be zero, your second event one, and so on and so forth. Otherwise, data from previous events will show up in your current events analysis page. Once you're done, click Submit. It'll say Config Saved, and then you can click Reload to restart the server to complete the setup. Congratulations, you have now successfully created your own spot server and can access all the other page by simply going to their respective routes. Please view our next video to learn about the admin page.